Do they wrap around this nose? Oh no, they don't. So they're not even as big as what glitches were. No. Hey everybody, Ethan here and Kat with Standing Stone Kennels and we're going to be showing what we do with stacking puppy pictures. Every week we take updated pictures of the puppies that we are raising and we do a little evaluation with them. So we'll check nails, uh, make sure that those are trimmed and grind and Jessica actually did them this morning so they look fantastic. Um, but we'll also look at developing bites and see if little things like umbilical hernias are there. This is the time where they're gonna really show. These guys are? Six weeks old. Six weeks old, yep. So how the puppy stacking process, if you've seen any of our pictures on Instagram or Facebook, what this looks like here is a combination of a couple different things. We use a little bait. Typically what works well would be sour cream or vanilla yogurt, something that's plain. And then um, we, first set front ends. And these stack pictures, we by no means are professionals in this category and we do not show dogs, but have a decent ability to make dogs look pretty good in pictures. Getting the front and rear ends set and then giving them something to lick. Just encouraging confidence here. Some of it takes a little bit. This is different, new, standing on a table. Good boy. <laughs> and this is Hawk. And this is Hawk. So each individual puppy will look like this. Then we move into cleaning the yogurt off their face. And we get a little headshot. And they get kind of squirmy sometimes to I'm just gonna melt one way or the other. Make all the funny puppy sounds. Puppy! You look so unimpressed. This is his unimpressed face. And he has ginormous ears. Do they wrap around his nose? Oh no, they don't. So they're not even as big as what glitches were. No. Oh, baby pup. Okay, so this process can be easier with some puppies, more difficult with others. The puppies that are built the best, if you will, will naturally stand the best. I mean, that's a big part of it. Um, dogs that lack in some department, whether that be a confirmation issue in their front end or their rear end, they will struggle to be as comfortable standing the way that they're kind of supposed to stacked. But one thing that we do have, and this is a Little known trade secret, we used to struggle with these pictures a lot, getting the right image that wasn't blurry with the puppy focusing and everything else, but um, Apple's live photo on your phone is what we've moved to using because you can kind of scrub and find the actual perfect moment that it actually looked perfect and that saves a ton, ton, ton of time. So that is why we use those rather than the fancy cameras that we do have and maybe it's just that we're not so good with the cameras themselves, but live photo makes the process simple they're on their phone and can easily be uploaded after that. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. Let's next see a couple puppies. Croc. Croc. So again, we'll check nails. They look fantastic. And then while well, Croc gets a little bit comfortable, we're just looking for is the bite correct up front? We can't see a whole lot else at this point check for hernias and what we're looking here umbilical hernias would just be a little popped out belly button area and there's nothing going on with this puppy it's not a super common thing but it's a common enough thing that we just check for it it does pop up on occasion so here you can already see slightly less confidence or a little stiffer kind of freezy attitude if I pick up here we can let those front legs drop down and then set them on the ground, bring the rear legs back, and then encourage movement. 
Now, right now, we're seeing, we've talked about this quite a bit before, but we're seeing a little bit of that opposition reflex. Because I'm pushing against his butt, he's pushing back. As soon as I can take that hand away and do more encouraging this way, we can get him to start standing up. Come on, come on, come on. And then stretching and starting to reach for it is the goal, because then he'll get into a nice natural stack position. Applying a little pressure up front. He's now pushing against that a little bit and see if we can get him to. We say some of them go Commit a little easier to that than others. Lean a little more. Now he's getting more comfortable, but we can go ahead and attempt to reset. As we make adjustments, we kind of we don't do stacked puppy pictures until they're five, five weeks. weeks old. Five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, they're stacked photos. Um, there we go. Good boy. He's still out in front of him yep. a little bit, but these again don't Look. have to be a thousand percent perfect. It's a good start and he's getting more comfortable up there reaching for that bait. So another little reset, another little reposition. I think we'll be really close. Not trying to win any awards, but definitely trying to show these puppies in their best light. There. Oh, much better, Bubba. So I think this would be kind of a cool thing to show at this point in time. Um, pop up on the screen basically what the stacked picture looks like. Wipe this yogurt off his nose. Let's see if we can get a happy face out of this guy. Puppy, puppy. This is a nice thing too. I can quickly scroll through and be like, is that one? Oh, I got a good one. The thing we're looking for, and this isn't a 100% requirement on little boys, we just check and see, do we have two descended testicles yet? And I already feel both of them there for this guy. But they get a little additional handle. They get a lot while they're here, but this is different. Puts them in a new, unique situation and helps with the development and socialization process while they're little guys. All right, same thing here. And just based on what I've seen out of these puppies personality-wise, he is definitely the most bold, confident male out of the litter that I've seen so far. So I would expect that we're going to see that shine through when we take these pictures as well. You made that too easy. Too easy. Perfect. Well, folks, that is a good portion of what puppy stacking looks like and a little bit about what we're looking for, why we're doing it, and kind of the... What's happening behind the scenes, basically, when you see those weekly updates for each of our litters. And here's the final product from today's shoot.